two hacks that will let you keep the back as long as you want to until you can find a submission. If you guys love these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Hey guys, Coach Tom, I'm here today with Reese, and we're having a look today at how we can hold the back long enough to get that choke or armbar or whatever attack you want to do, gi or no gi. So the first thing we want to look at, if I've got my partner's back here, is there's some basics we can do. You know, we can just review the fact that we can hold a seat belt, we're gonna cover our lead hand, we can put the chin over, we can make sure that we keep him on the dominant hand side here. We can look at doing body triangles and all sorts of fun stuff. But the number two things, the two things that really changed the back for me, because I was never good, I could get the back and I could just never hold it or finish it. So the two things that changed it for me were the knowledge that the back has nothing to do with hooks. IBJJF point system says we have to get two hooks in to get the back, and that's true. However, that doesn't mean that two hooks need to be in for the back to be effective, okay? I can have no hooks in and choke just fine. So a lot of people are so concentrated on getting their hooks that they forget the whole premise of the back is my chest, the front of my torso, against his back, the back of his torso. It doesn't matter if I look like this, with no hooks, two hooks, or even if I've got a seat belt from here, I've still got his back just fine. This may look like he's escaped my back and he's about to get out, but as long as I keep my chest to his back, that's all I need. I can still go for all of my attacks from here just fine. So once I have learned to keep chest to back, any time that things are feeling weird, so right now this feels weird to me. This doesn't feel like I have very good control. We're gonna keep our chest to our back, we can keep our chin locked over for extra security, and we're just gonna get up to our knees, sit him up, stand up, and now we step over the same side as our upper seatbelt arm. So in this case, my right arm, I step over like a big sumo, and I fall down to that side. If I can get this hook in, great. If he defends the hook, I cross my feet, I do a deadlift, and I put my hook in, easy as pie, and go straight away for my attack. So, remember, two things. Keep the chest to the back. Even if he gets my hook out and he starts escaping, let the hooks come out, but keep your chest to the back. It's getting weird. See, it's feeling weird for me here. So I keep my grip, I keep my chin down, I sit him up, I stand up, and I take a big step. If I can get over his right arm, that's even better. And then I pull my hook in. So remember, chest to back. Hooks are a bonus, not a necessity. And if things are getting out of control, stay tight, stay crunched, sit up, and step over. Have fun keeping the back, and don't forget to choke that neck. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video, guys. For more videos, click here. To subscribe to this channel to get all of our awesome videos, click here. And if you'd like to have our hour-long series for free on foot locks and how to defend foot locks and leg attacks of all kinds, please click here. I'm Coach Tom, guys. I'll see you next time.